what is a property observer? A property observer is what you see on a property when you see the will set or the did set. These are observers that get notified when you either um, make a change to a property, like setting a new value. Within the will set, you can specify what you want to do before this value is set to a new value. Here, I'm going to print out the current value of my value property and then what value it will be. And so the current value is still 10. And once we called my value and we set it to 99, the new value will be 99. But the my value property is not set to 99 yet. Within this will set property observer, we can do something in here before the value is set to 99. I'd like to mention that this new value default parameter you see here comes with the will set property observer. And within the did set, you can specify what you want to do after the value has been set to this property. But with the did set, the old value of my value is 10 and the new value is 99. And same thing here, when you see the old value, that is the default parameter for the did set property observer. Once we've reached the did set property observer, our my value property is now set to 99. What are property observers used for? Uh, property observers are used for, for example, for a will set property observer, between the time that the value changes, you can put like an animation that happens, or you can log an analytics event, um, or you can notify another property um, that you want something to happen. Let's jump into an example. I have an app on the App Store called Swipe Revolution. It's an iOS game and we're going to take this time to refactor this app as an example on how property observers can be used. So if we look at this function respond to swipe gesture, we see a bunch of if else conditions and a bunch of plus or minus one label text uh, being changed. The text is being changed and the text color is being changed. We can get rid of all of this using property observers. Let's change the score counter property to have will set and did set property observers. To our property observer will set, we are going to say if the new value is greater than the score counter, then the label is going to say plus one and change its color to green. And if it's less than, then the label is going to say negative one and uh, the color is going to be red. After we've changed this, we can scroll back down to respond to swipe gesture and remove all the unnecessary code. Thank you so much for watching this video. One of the main goals of this channel is to be able to help you learn difficult technical topics in a much simplified and easier way. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to watch. Uh, I'd love to make them. I will see you in the next video.